Not everyone has a happy face during the Christmas holidays because for some it can be one of the loneliest times of the year, but it doesn't have to be. Patty Rice is the president of Executive Search Dating, and he joins us online this morning with a bit of advice. Good morning. Good morning, Jim. Happy holidays to you. And same to you. Now, you're based in Vancouver. Uh, give us uh, the thumbnail sketch of the history and the mission statement behind Executive Search Dating. Yeah, we're a personalized matchmaking service. I founded the business uh, 12 years ago here in Vancouver, and we're designed for people who are looking for relationships and uh, aren't interested in, you know, going to bars or maybe the online dating scene. They typically tend to be people who are quite busy, but mostly it's people who really are looking for long-term relationships. Uh, They come to us, and and we help them find their perfect match. As the name suggests, uh, is your company uh, more designed for executives, or is it pretty much more widespread than that? more widespread. I mean, our clients do tend to be busy professionals, but no, we have artists, we have students, we have entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers. We really have the whole gamut. So uh, executive search dating really refers to the fact that we're very proactive. We're like almost designed like a recruiting firm. So when clients join our service, we have a, a huge database of existing clients, but we also get out there and can headhunt them for, for them as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. What we're talking about now is uh, 10 ways to meet someone new this holiday season. Uh, how much of the population might be in that boat, uh, lonely, kind of blue, and uh, looking for someone? Well, the funny thing about the holidays is, of course, we all love the holiday season. Who doesn't? But, you know, if you're a single person and you've been single for a while or maybe just come out of a breakup, it can actually, you know, all that positive imagery that we see on TV and in the malls of uh, happy people, you know, can almost make you feel a bit sad. But uh, I think what's changed in, the, in recent years is a lot of singles have realized, you know what, it, it can, there can be a little bit of that, but it's also a fantastic time to meet new people, uh, mostly because it is actually peak party season. I mean, there's, there's more parties going on over the holiday season than probably any other time of the year. And not only are there more parties going on, but it's a different kind of collection of people that you might not normally meet at a party during the year. You meet people who probably never go to parties, but they go to holiday parties. So I think as a single person in, in this world of ours, you know, you've got to also use your opportunities. There's not, they don't come around all the time where you get a chance to get out there and meet new people. And t- typically in the holidays, too, people are sort of a little bit m- more open and friendly and positive. So it can actually be surprisingly uh, a very good time to, uh, to meet someone new. So that's, uh, that's, let's get down to your advice. That's part of it. Uh, dust off the, uh, the party clothing. Uh, and you say <laughs> don't wait to be invited. What, what do you mean? Yeah, well, listen, if, uh, I mean, it's, it's getting the last couple of weeks, so I know everybody's busy, but uh, I'm a big, we're a big fans of taking things into your own hands. So uh, uh, one of the greatest parties you could ever have is having one yourself, and it doesn't have to be a massive production. But, uh, you know, you'll find around this time of the year, especially New Year's too, by the way, a lot of people these days kind of dread going into town for New Year's because of cabs and costs and stuff. So think about having a party yourself. But the key element there is, Invite your friends, but also ask them to invite single friends. So then you end up sort of having, yeah, taking sort of the bull by the horns, as it were. And and, uh, you don't just leave it to one party, but uh, try to go to many. Yeah, there's a real trick in, again, it's not something we're often faced with. Boy, how am I going to grapple with, you know, five parties in one night? I mean, that's not something that often happens to me, probably not, not to many of your listeners either. But you do in, in, in Christmas, especially, let's say, for example, this coming weekend, you know, the last real weekend before the holidays, you might have a situation where you have two or three parties or events that you've been invited to, and on a normal time, you would love to go to all of them. But, of course, you know, you might be tempted to think, well, I just have to commit to one. If you're looking to really meet new people, try to not lock yourself in, if you don't have to, to one party. And uh, a, a secret there a little bit is when you do go to a party, particularly when there's a party of a lot of people you don't know, uh, there's a tendency that we have, if there's one person at that party that we do know, to sort of spend the entire party talking to that person, even though they're not single, and the chances of them introducing us to a single person are, are pretty much zero. Make an effort to sort of not necessarily do that and kind of mingle around, introduce yourself. And, you know, Christmas comes custom-made with the best approach line that you'll ever have, which is Merry Christmas. I guarantee you, you may not be somebody who feels comfortable going up and saying hello to new people, but if you approach somebody at a holiday party and say Merry Christmas, I give you a 100% guarantee that they will... They will greet you warmly, 
And then, yeah, that, that's really the trick. Try to get around and meet as many people as possible. And obviously, if you do see someone who looks interesting, you can come back and talk to them a bit later. And, and don't feel like you have to spend four hours at a party. The reality is, at big events, often the best time to meet somebody, ironically, is early in the party before you know, things get a little bit uh, loud and, and unruly later on. And uh, as I said, you know, pop by a party, spend maybe half an hour, an hour there, um, get a few numbers of a few people that might be interesting and like, vice versa. And then don't feel bad about, you know, maybe leaving and, and moving on to another party. That's also uh, in the world of attraction. You know, it's attractive also that uh, when people see that you're someone who's got other things going on. So, uh, so yeah, don't uh, try to avoid just end up talking to the people that you you only the people that you know and, and therefore not meeting anybody new. If Merry Christmas is a good icebreaker for a line, uh, what lines should people avoid? You know, really any kind of cheesy pickup line, really. I guess those maybe worked back in, back in the day, but uh, your, your best, you know, aside from Merry Christmas, which is absolutely a line that you should use early and often at every Christmas event, uh, it does make people feel good. But, you know, just introducing yourself, I know it's silly as it sounds, Jim, but just coming up and saying, hi, my name is, you know, Patty, and uh, 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 what's your name? Like, something as simple as that. I know it sounds, wow, that sounds pretty aggressive, but uh, it's really very hard to say no to someone who just simply comes up and says, uh, nice to meet you, this is my name, and where are you from? And try to avoid anything too complicated and you know, are you an angel that fell down from heaven and all that kind of stuff. If, if, if you're going to get a, uh, a martini thrown at you uh, over the course of a party, it'll probably be when you try to use some really complicated line. So stick with the basics and, and keep it simple. Listen, I know sometimes we, particularly as single people, we get sort of caught up in it's so hard and you get really stressed out about it. Coming up and saying hello to somebody and, and meeting somebody is really the most natural thing that we're programmed to do. Humans are a social so, so, so the more simple you can make it, first of all, uh, the more relaxed you'll be about it, which will ultimately maximize the chances that, that someone does sort of at least want to start a conversation. And, and that's what you should be focused on. You shouldn't be focused on, you know, am I going to get this person's number? Or are we going to end up in a lifelong relationship? You'll just end up getting stressed out. Your ob- objective is just to say hello to new people. I mean, who in the world today doesn't want to meet new people? I think we all do. And you can assume that the person you're approaching feels exactly the same way. You're talking about that uh, tossed martini at you. Uh, is it a good idea to try to meet somebody new at office parties? Well, that's a great point, Jim. Uh, what I would say is, and, and this is kind of a classic dating don't, holidating don't, as you would, you obviously want to go to your own office Christmas party. I think that's an important team-building uh, thing to do. Generally speaking, and I know this is a bit of a cliche, you really want to avoid doing anything that you'll regret later in an office party. I mean, I'm sure we know what that might be. You know, making out with a coworker or your boss or your employee is generally, you don't want to have a party turn into something that's going to hurt your career. So, yeah, absolutely attend your own party and, and, and be, a, be the life of the party by all means within reason. But a much better um, office party to attend where you actually can be a little bit more liberated is maybe a friend or an acquaintance's office party. You know, friends are always uh, have office parties that they're looking to bring someone to. So at a, at, a, at a friend's office party, I mean, again, you don't want to go too hog wild, but I think it frees you up a little bit to meet people who you don't work with. And particularly if you're someone who's professional and maybe looking to meet other professionals, someone else's Christmas party can be actually a, a great way to meet uh, new, you know, single professionals and and I think in, in office parties, when you're not working in that office, sometimes people are, are quite open to it. You know, it's, they appreciate the fact that it's not just a party of their coworkers, but there's some new people as well. And for those who, uh, who can't meet someone new by uh, following your advice, the website is executivesearchdating.com. The president is Patty Rice. Advice for those who need to meet someone new this holiday season. Really appreciate your time and your advice this morning. All right. Merry Christmas, Jim. Same to you.